baby. You took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Baby. Where did these niggas be at when they said they join all this and all that? Tired of beefing you balls, you can't even pay me in to react. You're waking up in the crib, sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to that. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a big Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe because if you don't want to see more of me now, you're going to want to see more of me later. I'm addicted. If you don't believe me, keep watching and you'll see. Y'all, it's currently 12, 17 p.m. And I've been up since 9.30, but I was just getting ready and getting organized. So I was trying to figure out what stuff I was going to do first. Basically, I'm having to get shit done today. First thing, I need an oil change. I feel like I literally just got one, but the only difference is I've been taking road trips to go see my mom and stuff. So and that's why I feel like another one was due so early. I feel like I just got one. But yeah, so I'm going to get my oil changed. It's like a little drive-thru one, and they don't need appointments. So I hope they can do me today and don't be trying to scam me because you know i'm a girl and you know how people be trying to talk to you like you don't know what you're talking about because you're a girl and try to get you to do a whole bunch of other things like no i don't really care just change the oil so i can get going so i'm about to get the oil changed and then after that i'm gonna go get my car washed and cleaned out and then also i have to get a new battery for my smoke detector because it's been beeping like you guys will see in the videos that i film like the beeping was driving me insane i don't know how people could just let it run like, i'm not gonna lie i let it run a few days yeah but after i had to edit a whole video of me with hearing the beeping in the background i was like oh no because the beeping in my ear was bothering me so bad so i'm changing the battery today i already took it down and i actually put the battery in my purse so i make sure i get the right one i took a picture of it but i just got the physical one just so i could bring it with me to make sure it's the right one anyway yeah i just did my hair in a little clip i washed it the other day but i didn't actually like put any product in this part or style it at all i got a pack of these shirts from Target so I got a white one and I got a black one they're just cotton there was only five dollars so I was like oh got it again and y'all these leggings y'all they are the best material and there's so much detail like look at the knees y'all see that fabric it feels so smooth and it's so comfortable they are sculpting to where it compresses you and like sucks you in and like snatches you but it's not tight to put on or it's not tight to pull like i could tug on them and they don't feel tight and on the packaging it tells you what pair does what and these are the lift and curve leggings so what it does is lift up your butt it has high compression it has tummy control and double sided wear and then these are the beyond nude leggings this is what it looks like the features this fabric is so nice. But like I said on every packaging, this one tells you what details and features these leggings have on this package. And it says it has built-in underwear. So basically, if you wanted to, you can go commando and wear no panties with these leggings. This is the inside of them. And then you can see it does have stitching. It has four-way stretch. It's lightweight and it's very soft. That's definitely true. These are super soft, y'all. Like I feel like you could wear these on a regular day like me, how I'm just running errands wearing these. I feel like these could be shapewear. I feel like I could work out in these. Like these are mad comfortable. Like these could be airport, doing excursions, all that. So make sure y'all shop Fanka and don't forget to use my code M10 for 10% off. Make sure y'all shop Fanka and check out my description to go see the leggings that I was wearing in this video and to go and use that code and buy a pair for yourself. I also have to not forget to go get an AC filter because it's too hot and I feel like I should have been replaced it, but I did it and I'm like, like, yeah, I'm like, I feel like it's not as cool as it used to be in here. Because I keep the AC on 72. It's not 72 in. Like, it's really giving me 77. So, I don't like that. And we need to go get the AC filter switched out for a new one. So, I'm about to take a picture of it before I forget. Because I have to make sure I get the right size. Yeah, I'm in the car. Before I go to the oil change place, I'm going to go and get me some coffee. I'm going to try this coffee that one of my girls put me on to. Y'all know I already get the iced white mocha from Starbucks, but she puts pumps of cinnamon dulce, I think. I got to go back and actually read what the order she told me, but I'm going to try it because I didn't even know that Starbucks even has cinnamon dulce. She said, let me buy the speed. Uh, I be lying if I say that shit didn't hurt me. I be telling you that I'm fake pranky. Need how much you need, bro. I'm going to go Tina needs a makeover. Like, I've been maintenance in myself, but Tina needs that maintenance, so I'm really trying to focus on her today. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I need to do. But, yeah, let me go get some coffee, and then I'll eat something later, but let me just do a little few things first and get that out the way. Yeah, my clip is hanging on for dear life. Like, it's not even gripping nothing. But, in case that one breaks, 
back up. Thank you. Should I put on my glasses? I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes my glasses are an accessory to me, but I actually need them to see. Like y'all don't know, but like in real life, I don't have a vision. So I don't know why sometimes I be like, nah, they don't look right with this hair right now, or no, they don't look right like this. Therefore, vision. When my lashes are done, why would I wear glasses? <laughs> when my lashes are not done, severely, that's when you see me wear them every video. But when they're done, you gonna see them. I paid big coins for these lashes, so you gonna see them. All right, yeah, I got the order now. It is, uh, well, I'm about to order it right now, but I'm gonna get a grande because I don't really know how it's gonna taste with the cinnamon. I never can finish anything more than a grande, so I'm not about to waste my money on getting a bigger drink when I'm not about to drink all that coffee. I don't even want all that coffee because coffee and my stomach don't go together, but I love it so bad. Like, it hurts my heart so bad, but I love it so bad. And I don't think I'm lactose. Like, my mom tells me that I'm lactose. I don't feel like I am. I feel like it's just the coffee beans because I don't have a problem with any other dairy products, but coffee? Sweet cream foam and three pumps of cinnamon dulce. That'll be all. Okay. All right, this is it. This is the order. In case y'all want a screenshot, I'm not stingy. That's good coffee. This right here. Oh wow. I just left my oil change and I'm about to go and get my car clean. I decided that it's way too hot and I don't feel like vacuuming out my car. So I'm gonna pay to get it detailed in the inside and then I'm gonna go buy some air fresheners because they do like give you a scent. Well, last time I got my car washed, they didn't even give me the option to get a scent. That was weird because I definitely am supposed to get a free one, but they give you a scent like for your car. It lasts like a little bit like when after you first get it washed, but obviously it's not an air freshener, so it's not gonna last like if you buy your own air fresheners or whatever. Plus like, I just wanna have my own air freshener just so I can have. So I'm gonna get some air fresheners and I'm also gonna get some white beast because I always, Girl, can I talk? Because I always catch myself cleaning like my dash or the area by the cup holders because it gets sticky. Like if I get any drink, like I had milkshakes the other day and when I tell you with cream residue, like that's gross. And I don't even play like that. That's not even my thing. And I also have so much stuff in the little compartment by my dash that I definitely need to clean out and organize. Like I need to have like the stuff that I keep in my car to a minimum because I bring so much stuff in my car. Every time I come in my car, I bring my purse, my camera my tripod my battery my charger like every time i come in the car i bring all that stuff in there so the stuff that i keep in the car has to be kept to a minimum because i don't feel like having a whole bunch of stuff in the car that's how stuff gets cluttered and messy how it is now and like you might not think it's messy but like to me it's messy i barely had nobody sitting in there so it's always empty and by the way, y'all, I do have a car tripod because one of y'all asked me, like, do you have a car tripod because you're always holding your camera? I'm not holding it. I'm holding my tripod, actually. But I have a car tripod. I just don't like the angles. I'm not about to sit here and talk for, like, 30 minutes with the angle like this the whole time. Like, that's so not okay. I also been thinking about buying another camera and I really do want to get a drone for when I go on vacation. Technology wise, like I'm finna spoil myself. I need to get a case for my laptop and everything. Like when I get new stuff sometimes, like I get so excited to get it and I say like, oh, when I get it, I'm gonna get all this stuff for it. And then I have it and I get comfortable having it and I never get the new stuff for it. So I need to actually get accessories for like the stuff I said I was gonna get accessories for. Alright yeah, I just paid for the car wash. When I tell ya, I'm trying to get everything out of here. So y'all, I'm back in Tina and vacuum, but I feel like they didn't wipe her down. But I definitely feel like they did not wipe her down. Like, look at this. Like, they didn't even, like, get the crevices like I wanted them to. She's definitely vacuum though, but as far as, like, wipe down to my liking, mm -mm. since I'm going to Walmart anyway to get the filter and the battery, I might as well just go and get the air fresheners in there because Dollar Tree only has, like, what, one or two air fresheners in a pack and Walmart will have, like, more air fresheners in the pack. And I also am going to get some wipes for my car because obviously I got to do stuff my way. It does smell good in here, though, already. I can give it that much. And she is very clean. You know, there's no footprints or anything like that on my mat. So, shout out to them. And the outside does look... I'm in the parking lot right now so I can show y'all. That is too clean. Don't play with Tina. 
so yeah the outside looks good but and the inside is definitely feeling uncluttered but i need it to feel fresh and i'm not getting that because i'm not seeing stuff wiped down how i want it to wipe down let's go to walmart and then also i didn't mention to you guys but i might be getting a new phone um either today or tomorrow i don't know the at&t closes at seven but i might want to just start over and do that tomorrow so i could just start fresh because i am going to get some groceries today basically um when i go i'm going to get the iphone 13 it's the big one right now i actually have the iphone 11 max and y'all always ask me like what phone do you have i literally have an 11 i don't know what's so special like the picture quality varies on the lighting and really who's taking your pictures like that's what i learned that's why a lot of pictures on my page are pictures that a i take of myself or b somebody who actually likes me takes of me because if you have somebody taking a picture of you and they don't really want your pictures to come out good they're not going to come out good sometimes it's not you sometimes it's the person now sometimes it could be you but sometimes it's who's taking a picture so there's no special phone quality about my phone and i had this phone for actually not that long because whenever i got this phone the 12 came out i didn't get the 12 because i knew that the 13 was gonna come out so yeah and watch when i get 13 the 14 gonna come out and then the 15 like it's really all a scam but basically i'm gonna get an upgrade i don't need two phones i'm not a person who needs two phones like i barely talk to anybody on this phone i don't really need two and i really need to stop being on my phone so damn much i'm gonna go to at&t either after i leave walmart or either tomorrow but i feel like i didn't mention that to y'all earlier so new things new things but yeah with that being said let's go to walmart so i can get this stuff for the house these adult things that i'm forced to get like a battery for my smoke detector that person was just staring at me do you want to make an appearance but yeah let's go all right y'all see i'm back in the car i'm literally still in front of walmart but i brought the stuff that i've got for the car in the bag to the front oh and i remember to get my batteries y'all i didn't forget anything like usually i forget one thing i didn't forget nothing like can we just look at me but i got these i got these in a pack because i used to carry the big container of it and put it in the side of my seat but i really want to keep the stuff that's in my car like even the stuff that's on the side of my seat i want to keep it to a minimum because i've been having this new habit to where when i get receipts i take the receipt and i put it on the side of my car and i'm trying to stop that like i'm really trying to stop because i hate having all that paper there but yeah so i'm about to wipe the front of my car right now in the parking lot and after this i have to get gas y'all i broke my not eating meat thing streak i had stopped eating meat for two months like i told y'all but i started eating meat again when i was in new york because i was in new york like come on like i was eating carne frita i was eating longanisa i was having sicilians with pepperoni and mushrooms like i was really just see y'all they didn't even take that out i don't know if they're supposed to wipe it off but like maybe they don't clean the inside but i've gotten my car detail from them before and they've cleaned this before so i don't know why this time they didn't clean it because i paid the same thing i love that all this stuff comes out like even the little container by a couple others but yeah so when i get home i'm gonna make some technically it's breakfast food but it's like four o'clock at this point now so this is my lunch and my breakfast because i just had a coffee this morning but i didn't really eat anything else besides it. so i might get hungry and get something to eat for dinner later but what i'm craving right now is some fried salami fried cheese and some eggs clean this is all wiped down all wiped down all wiped down stairwell all wiped down so everything is clean now now i'm about to put the air freshener on the mirror like this smell and black ice is my favorite yeah tina is too clean yeah oil has been changed car has been clean inside and out i got the battery i got the filter i got something to make when i get in the house and then i'm also gonna run a load to wash in the washing machine so i don't end up washing mad clothes last minute and then i'm also gonna wash my hair but i'm actually gonna style it this time so that tomorrow it could be loose and i don't have to have it in this clip so let me go ahead and go home y'all because i've been sitting here for a minute all right y'all i'm gonna go home all right, y'all see I'm back home. I'm about to change my AC filter. I can't take being hot no more. All right. 
when I show y'all how dirty my other one is, I'm not even gonna do that. That's too, that's too embarrassing for real. But just know. Look at the old one. That's trifling in so many ways. Don't be like me. All right, I'm gonna make my food real quick. I did not get platanos, but honestly, I just forgot about it, and I really was craving the cheese more than anything, so. And y'all, it's Sunday, so that means there's a new episode of P-Valley. I'm just cutting the salami right now. I just cut them like this thick. I'm gonna put this half up. I'm cutting the cheese. I'm gonna do like this thick. Okay, I have my cheese and my salami cut up. Y'all, I'm so hungry at this point, but I'm about to put this stuff on the pan that I'm gonna eat. Yeah, I just finished eating and P Valley finished. Yeah, it's still light outside right now. I'm gonna wash this hair because not that it needs to be washed, just that it needs to be styled out of a ponytail. So I'm gonna wash it again and give it some actual care because right now it just looks insane. And then tomorrow, ooh, but it's eight o'clock. I already ate, so I'm full. I'm actually getting tired. I don't know why, because I know as soon as I lay down, like I'm not gonna go to sleep. So, here, let me get in the shower and wash this hair. to head out i already took a shower this morning i still need to put on clothes i guess i've been sleeping on this side of my face more so this eye is shedding so bad and i literally have like almost every single lash still on this eye so my eyes probably look crazy but i'm doing my best to not pluck them out and like i don't want to get a fill yet because these are pretty filled and i wanted these in the front um next time i get them done i want them like a shorter length so i want them to like fall off so i'm trying to be patient Baby, you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel like chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place it's the love you get can't be replaced I'm just going to go to the phone store today, so I'm not doing anything special, but I just got on this black shirt. This long maxi skirt from PLT is real long. And I did my hair in the side part because I'm tired of my parts. Once I'm in the car, I know I'm gonna go, but like if I just stay here, I'm never leaving, so. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like this summer has not been summer in like, I don't know. I just ordered my birth certificate online. Well, I've been trying to do that, but it's a whole thing, y'all. Y'all know I wasn't born in Florida, which is where I live now. I was born in New York, so. It's a whole thing to get it online. Like, I have to verify my identity, and they keep saying that my identity is not me. Like, why would I go so hard to prove that I'm me and I was born? Like, be for real. So I'm trying to get my birth certificate so I can get my passport, because the passport, I know I can get like this. That's what I'm doing. So that way I can have a fun year. Because I promise you, that passport getting stamped once it comes in the mail. Trip on trip on trip on trip on trip. I barely leave the house like over here because there's not really anything to do for real. It's the people that you with that make it fun. Like, yeah, I want to go jet skiing, but I want to go jet skiing on like crystal clear water. Like, I want to see different animals and stuff like that. Like, I want to travel, eat good food, 
that's one of my favorite hobbies like i love doing that so that passport gonna come so i can have a good time because this summer was not summer like they didn't do nothing i've been in the house it's been raining it rains every day like once a day it rains so yeah it's hot and yeah it's sunny and i could go to the beach but i'm not in the mood to get rained on like no but when you see me from plane to plane to plane to plane know that so yeah, that's also like what I did yesterday because I'm really trying to get my ducks in a row, my birthday coming up. But I also got other stuff coming up too that I'm excited for that's going to come around that time. So I'm trying to get my life and my ducks in a row together now. So everything's in place. I do want to order MacBook case for my laptop tonight because I do feel like I need to like momify it. Like right now it just looks regular and I feel like it needs to be, looks like it belongs to me, you know? There's a Planet Smoothie in the same plaza as the at and so I'm going to go inside and get... Well, it's not in the same, like, it's in the same area, but it's not in the same plaza, but it's close enough. So, I'm gonna go and get a smoothie because I haven't ate nothing today, and I really don't want nothing like a meal meal. So, a smoothie gonna do it. I'm gonna go in here. I forgot what smoothie I get, but I know I get extra coconut. When I actually get the drink and I come back, I will tell you guys what I got. Just got some top from this strip of fish. She can cake a kid, just bought a glove with a pool of cream. Boy, don't play with me, this bitch a hoe. Matter at the store, you know how it goes. She wanna smoke, so I bought some dope. All right, y'all. So I know what smoothie I get now because I've seen it on the pink plan. I got some napkins because you know I cleaned my car out and I threw away the napkins that I had. So I had to grab me a little stack so I could have them when times are needed in the car. The smoothie that I get is a strawberry colada, but I get extra coconut. I really can't make it at home, honestly. They make it right in front of you, and I just be like, girl, you could do it at home, but I still buy it. Just like coffee. Like, why am I like this? Anyways. That is so good, I'm telling you. I am. But I got that because I don't know how long I'm going to be in there because if I do end up getting a new phone, I have to let all the information from this phone go to the new one. And I know when you get a new phone, like you like to have the feeling of just brand new, no pictures, no messages, whatever. But I can't do that. Like I have stuff that I need to have on my phone at all times. So I need that stuff restored. And honestly, I have not backed up my phone <laughs> since like October. Your girl got a new phone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it is the gold color. The options that they had there was white and gold because I told her I didn't want the blue or the green. So I got a gold one because the white one, it kind of looks like this one, but this one is kind of like just cream and then like the rims are like gold and i usually always get black phones like my old phone was black or like space gray or whatever so i really always began black phones so this time i was like you know what i might as well get a change anyway because i love cream like y'all know and it matches my nails anyway but yeah so i got this one so i ended up backing up my phone to today so i could actually have all my information on there because at first i was like nah i don't really care about having my phone i backed up but then i was like no i do care she was like girl it's it's gonna be quick i thought it was gonna take that long but it didn't so that was the good thing about that and the girl in there who helped me i know her name but i don't know if she wants me to say her name so i'm not gonna say her name we were talking like the entire time and it would have been in and out but when when i tried to back up my phone it was taking forever because i forgot to connect to the wi-fi so that took like way longer than it needed to and we was just talking so the time like really flew by they don't sell the box pieces no more to the charger so now i gotta go to walmart and get a box piece get a phone case see so, yeah, i have to go to get all that stuff right now so i don't even play also there was a man who was like the age of my grandpa like i kid you not i was setting up my face id and like when you set up your face id you have to like move your head around or whatever and he was like i see you trying to beat you take a selfie let me be in your picture and i was like because mm -hmm. the whole time i'm confused on what he's talking about because i'm like i'm not even taking a selfie so i'm just like mm -hmm. and he's an old man like he's old he's an old man so I'm really astonished. Like, I'm trying not to be rude to my elders, but at the same time, like, if you was any younger, I would have gave you a stink look or probably cussed you out. But because I'm trying to respect my elders, I'm trying to be mature about it. So I'm like, mm -hmm. Then, when I'm about to leave, he's like, you gonna buy me a phone? You gonna buy me a new phone? I said, mm -hmm. you gonna buy me a phone? He said, nah, it's a woman's world now. Us, man, we did all the work. It's y'all turn to pay for the bill and get us stuff. I was like, mm -hmm. Like, sir. Leave me alone. I'm not playing with you. Hey, Grandpa, leave me alone. So yeah, my phone is still backing up a little bit. Like, it's still trying to download my apps and my pictures. But yeah, so let's go. Because I've been in this parking lot since I came in the car. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Not Mother's Day. Happy Birthday, Dad. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From Walmart, all I got was box piece for the chargers. The good thing about this, the chargers charge that fast and I'm definitely gonna write my initial on it because I don't need nobody trying to steal my fast charger. I don't care if you steal like a charger like this. But you're not gonna steal no fast charger from me. That's not gonna happen. And then I got this phone case. It's just clear because I don't want to cover the prettiness of the phone. The one thing I have to order though, the glass screen protector. And in Walmart, they didn't have the privacy screen one. And I don't want to get one that doesn't have it because I would prefer the privacy one. And I gotta go home and put my clothes in the dryer and then fold my clothes. I thought this was like a sticker. Like, what is this? That's ugly. No, I need to order a new. But yeah, I'm glad I got the phone out the way because I been was supposed to wake up and go to the phone store to get the new one. As y'all can see, I took off my lashes, which I wasn't supposed to, but don't tell my lashes. But anyway, so I'm about to do my makeup and get cute today because I'm actually gonna leave the house, so I'm gonna get cute. But since I picked off my lashes, I made a stop earlier today, this morning, and I got some lashes to choose from. Either I'm gonna stack these or I'm gonna just choose one, but I know y'all will ask me. These are the lashes I used to buy when I first started wearing lashes ever because every resupply store has this brand, so it's just easier for me to find ones I like. But I just picked two random ones today. I don't get 25 mm no more like i'll get 22 20 you know like around that when i'm getting extensions but like as far as strips like i'm not gonna put 25 on my eyes because like i used to do that i used to look a mess now that i'm thinking about it like i used to really look crazy so i'm going away from that but this is one style option that i'm wearing today this is the other one that i chose like I said, I might stack them. So I really don't know which one I'm going to actually choose. But I just bought two. And then I also got some lash glue. And I don't even use lash glue. I use hair glue. But I didn't know if I was going to remember where my hair glue is at. Because I take it everywhere with me. So I probably don't even know where my hair glue is at. So I bought some lash glue. Because it was right in front of my face. And I didn't even see the hair glue at the hair store. I don't know if it works. But it's the even grip bond so yeah i don't use lash glue yeah like i literally use hair glue and yeah i know it's not supposed to be near your eye i don't care i still do it and i always did it and my eyes are fine and then i got some nose rings i just got this black flower i thought it was cute because my hair is dark and then i got this like diamond one because i just don't have a piercing on my nose on this side so yeah i just got out the shower i washed my hair last night so a lot of my curls are clumped together and i'm gonna have to you know do my hair for real after i'm done with my makeup because i'm gonna put my hair up so it's not in my face i should put my nose ring in now because hold on i'm trying to push it in we almost there and y'all i have to put hoops on this side because this size hole is so big that like if i put a stud it's gonna slip out all right i got it in it's cute i like it but i really like the black one so i'm gonna put this one to save because if this one falls out and I cannot find it, at least I have the cuter one. My comforter is currently in the wash, so I just have a fitted sheet on my bed. But I'm going to put on some lotion because I just got out the shower. And it was one of those showers where you shave everything and you almost pass out. Do y'all put lotion on after you get out the shower or before you put clothes on? Because i got to put lotion on right after I get out the shower. Okay, I'm going to try all right i've been using this lotion in the summertime and i don't know if this is supposed to like be tinted because it does ask you like what skin tone you are but it's really soft and it does make your skin smooth it's a moisturizer and it's infused with coconut oil so tonight when i shower again you could feel the lotion washing off your body and your legs still feel smooth so thank me later i'm about to beat my face in my bathroom because well first i'm gonna put my hair up there's no real reason because I could do it in my glam room, but I just feel like doing it in my bathroom. Before I prom my face, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Y'all be thinking my eyebrows are laminated. Laminated eyebrows are like, you put like a chemical on your eyebrows, I think. And it's kind of like a perm for your eyebrows. It basically helps tame them to your liking, but it stays that way until you get it touched up again. But no, y'all, I do not have them laminated. I just put product on my brows. It doesn't have to be specific product, like whatever makes my brows hold really good. Right now, I'm stuck on the True Edge Edge Control. And I just use the edge brush and I just brush my brows. And then boom. And then boom, those are my brows. And I know they have brow gel, but I'm a DIY kind of girl. And it's important that I go around my brows with a Q-tip 
and remove the product from around my eyebrow because that way if I don't do that my makeup will look so bad in person and sometimes I don't care about how it looks in person as long as it look cute on the phone but sometimes like today I care about what it looks like in person because if I'm trying to like blend the concealer or anything around my eyebrow it will look so cakey and so bad this makes sure that it doesn't when I wipe it around the eyebrow. And then I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Hydro Touch. And yeah, I did buy a foundation. But I feel like it's a little bit too orangey for me right now. Because I haven't tanned my face in a minute. Because my face is kind of on the paler side. Even though it is summer. I've been in the house like so it's not very tan in the face area. So I'm going to conceal under my eyebrows now. I'm also looking at this mirror by the way. I'm not ignoring y'all. I don't fill my eyebrows in right now like sometimes i will and sometimes i won't right now is one of these days where i don't feel like it to be honest yeah i don't really try to make my makeup look any type of way i just know how i like my face to look and how i like it to be so i do my own like thing you know what i'm saying but some people they might not feel like it suits them and that's okay also this is really carving out the ends because in the front when i put the eyeshadow it's not gonna matter to be honest on the bright side i have an idea of what i'm gonna wear which usually i don't ever because i haven't really gone shopping for myself i do plan to build my closet which what in my closet isn't like just shopping spree i mean like getting like shoes and like bags that i've been like having my eye on type of thing so that's what i mean by build my closet basically pieces like buy the stuff that be the factor of putting my fits together type of thing but because like i don't really go nowhere at this time because i'm so focused on other stuff so i really only be going shopping when i'm on vacation but i'm trying to change that because then when i'm trying to go somewhere here i be feeling like i don't be having no clothes and i know i have clothes in my closet but it's just a different type of fit you know what i'm saying that i'm talking about so yeah and my eyeshadow is kind of like going into my brows by the way y'all this is not a makeup routine i'm just basically talking to y'all before i get ready i thought i would be ending my vlog this way since y'all don't ever see me really get ready y'all always see me post pictures of like me on my story and stuff like that or post tiktoks but y'all don't ever see like me getting ready behind this so i was like no my little well, well, me you know what i'm saying this is very last minute kind of thing this might look really pigmented, but I promise you, I'm just blending this whole thing. So it will not look like a lot after I'm done blending. So the goal right now is to basically look like I have a black eye, but I'm going to blend it. I do it to where the eyeshadow is almost like kissing type thing. The irritating part right now is that I don't have extensions. So now I'm going to have to put lashes on and my eyes and my nose will be running when I have makeup on. I don't know why my nose be running and my eyes be watering, but it does every time. It does not fail. So now I'm going to have to worry about the lashes actually sticking on my eye because my eyes be so watery. Also, y'all, the bathroom lighting might distort how some stuff looks. My mirror is the most accurate. <laughs> Of what it actually looks like so please hold your horses i will play music but right now i have the same songs on a loop on a repeat and i know y'all probably tired of me listening to the same songs so i'm not gonna do it i'm not i'm not gonna do it and don't worry y'all this shirt is just like a, a shirt that i be sleeping in so don't worry i'm not insane i wouldn't actually put on a white shirt and do my makeup I forgot what day it was, but it was some day last week. I think it was Friday. Yeah, last Friday. When I tell y'all, I came home so full that I didn't even take my makeup off. So I went to sleep with it. Yes, I did. Don't judge me. Yes, I did. And I can't admit it. But y'all know my pillowcase. It wasn't my Ugg pillow covers. It was a white pillowcase. I slept on it. When I tell you guys, there was no makeup transfer on that pillowcase. No makeup was on that pillow. I already have so much makeup on my nose piercing now. Now I'm snatching my nose. I use my pinky on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to go in with my contour stick and carve it in. And I be setting my face doing anything, like in between anything. But I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I use the Hula Toasted. I kind of want a new bronzer because I don't really like the shade of this one. But... It's been doing what it's doing, so. And then I just dab the bronzer. Dabbing it gives me the chance to add more product on there instead of just swiping the product. And nobody taught me that. I had to learn myself because of me looking a mess. And I also just go in my contour. I've been in the mood to go to a concert lately, but 
not like a turn concert i mean it can be but like more of like a r b concert like i think mariah the scientist did come to orlando but i think i definitely missed that date or maybe she didn't i don't know but mariah the scientist i thought about going to but i don't know anybody else to listen to her i don't know why i didn't get some walker tickets i think it's because the last time when I seriously was gonna do it, the first time she went on tour, the date that she was supposed to come over here, um, she had stopped touring. So like everybody who got a ticket, I think they either got refunded or whatever. But I didn't know if she was actually gonna like go on tour for real for real this time. So that's why I didn't get tickets for that. And I obviously lucked out because she actually went on tour. Her music, honest to God, does not get tiring to me. So that would have been in concert. Something like that so I could sing my little heart out that I can't sing. And y'all, I don't bake up here no more or set up here because I don't want it to look like matte or anything. So I just don't do that. Now I don't because I don't like the matte look on me. I'm going to go back in with some bronzer because, you know, just to warm the face up again. Then I used my blush. It is the Audacious Apricot and it's from Morphe. It's real cute. It has the M on it for my money. That's me. And you could take it everywhere. And I love blush. So I just, you know... Drag it on here and I just. Now I'm about to set. Dry, 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 Let me get my lashes, y'all. Yeah, I tested how they looked when I didn't stack them and I did not like them. So I'm gonna stack them because I'm just used to like the volume look and non stacked was given natural. Let's see if this glue works. I don't know. I literally just use hair glue. I never use lash glue. Right now it's blue. I'm gonna put some glue too along my lash line too. It says air dry. I don't have time for that. All right, let's see if it sticks. All right, yeah, I had to do my lashes off camera because y'all know how it is to literally feel like you're about to just take all your makeup off and scream because your lashes aren't coming on. Yeah, that was me right now. So I had to just do it off camera because I felt myself getting aggravated to the point of no return. And I wasn't finna go out like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put some bottom mascara on. I don't like brush it. I basically just do do do. But I don't want to look like a rock star either, so I'm not about to go too hard. I still have to do my lips, but I'm gonna get my hair out this bonnet first. And I have to separate my curls because they're all together right now. I'm gonna separate my curls in sections because I feel like that would be way easier. No matter what brush I use, it clumps my hair together. one big curl right here that's why i'm separating it and this is why i do not be wearing or i don't be trying to wear my natural hair on vacation i know i am because even if i do have like my hair done i like to swim i like to go in the water so if my hairstyle don't allow me to do that the natural hair will come out but people think that it's just oh you wash your hair and then you done no like i have to let my hair fully dry to get to its full potential because i'm not gonna go outside I mean, everybody got their own preference, but mm, I'm not going outside with no wet hair. That's just me. Wet hair. I have before, and it depends, like, what hairstyle I'm doing, so I might have to take that back. But I'm just saying, like, I'd rather not. I'd rather not, you know? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to talk while I'm doing this, but sometimes I just don't be having shit to, I just, I just don't be having shit to say. <laughs> I just don't be having shit to say or I'm so surprised that while I've been doing my makeup nobody has called me and interrupted me like I'm so surprised because you know how many people will I'm so surprised because you know how like people don't be calling you until you doing something and I don't be having time to talk when I'm doing and I don't be having the time to like have a full blown on actually invested conversation while I'm doing this because I'm always in a rush. Cause I'm always late, so 
Okay, so this is my hair now. My curls are in their right form. I'm gonna do my lip combo real quick. All right, so hair and makeup done. She's cute, she's here. And I'm about to put my clothes on, but y'all know how that is. Once them clothes on, them phone calls start coming and you gotta be out the door. So I'm not about to do that on camera because I will start getting anxiety, but we're gonna end it here. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, I'm Mariah Kaylin to see more of me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.